Wait for it. Welcome to the extended care edition of Virtual Hockey Talk. Oh, I've lost count. Anyway, we're back playing bass a little bit. See how that goes. Welcome, hey, hello to uh, mom, hey, how you doing, uh, Doreen, Deborah, all the people over at Extended Care, hope you're doing well, looking after each other, uh, getting through this every day is, uh, well, one step closer to who knows what, but let's stay uh, positive, shall we, we'll keep the music going, let's do, um, oh, here we go, something snappy, something snappy. I've been around Thought I'd seen it all Long raven hair Beautiful. Try to 
Well, yeah, this is, uh, look at this old uh, thing. Haven't played this in ages. Haven't played anything in ages. I haven't picked up a guitar or a bass since I uh, sort of fell on my hand, and it, it kind of hurts still a little bit. I can turn it certain ways, but I think I'm good enough so that I could just start easing myself back into it. And by easing, I mean, okay, well, let's play a whole hour-long show. So this is all very foreign. Doesn't quite feel quite like home yet. So let's not stop to think about it. Let's say thanks to the hero next door. You know who you are. Yeah, so that's for all the people who are looking after us, the people who serve, the people who look after others, and, uh, well, you know, you just can't say thank you enough. At least I don't think so. Okay, well, I did have a little bit of fun in my um, pre-downtime, and uh, 
please. Uh, this is my little, uh, I, I don't think the world appreciates people like Roger Miller and enough. And, uh, who else? Um, boy. Oh, um, Randy Newman, you know, the, this uh, satirists. Anyway, this is my attempt. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? Okay. Here it is. No more looking back. I like this tune. Kind of like just hearing the slate. All right. No more looking back. Take one. That's the engineer. And that's Ron Dan in the background.
One of the few songs you'll hear tonight that uh, was actually recorded in a, a real professional recording studio. There's only a few I did. The Nashville stuff, the uh, Peterborough area stuff, and uh, Toronto. I like working at home better. It's more fun. There's no time restraints. You can, you know, middle of the night, get up and start working. Then, uh, you know, six hours go by before you know it. You can't move your neck to the left because you've been... <laughs> anyway. Okay. Need a coffee? I could use a drink. Okay. Come on. There we go. When I wake up each day, I stumulate my way Down to the kitchen for my favorite brew Don't want no orange juice, that stuff just ain't no use To get me started, there's just one thing to do I take the filter out and grind the beans about Until that smell is floating rich in the air I pour the water in and soon it's in. It won't be long until I'm human again You would not believe what caffeine does to me It's a miracle cure I'm a slave to my coffee I'm a slave to my coffee It goes right through my head and brings it back from the dead I'm a slave to my coffee I'm a slave to my coffee Oh, boy. 
Well, hey, come on. Wow, I just stopped it. Okay. Uh, just quick, let me uh, tune. I think I, uh, I slipped a G string. Yes, I sure did, boy. Nobody wants to do that in public. Okay, and there, well, D looks good. A's a little sad, too. It's a little, yeah, it's been sitting on the wall for a while, so I kind of figured. Halfway through, I'm starting to think, wait a minute. I don't quite sound like I'm with the rest of the guys. Meaning me. All right, well, close enough. Close enough for the kind of music I play. be really clever and I put these uh, well mutes uh, essentially in here but they're really deadening the sound so much and I'm trying to sort of cut them back a bit it's a good idea they're self sticking and everything else but uh, a little bit too aggressive on the muting thank you very much okay where was I before. Oh, we got to play your song. Here's your song. This is for my mom. Nothing will ever change me loving you. You're still holding me, but now. fingers like ships that drift apart you packed a bag and left and in it was my Oh, yes, I was I had a day off today. I'm only going to have one day off, so we're, I'm back to working Mondays to Fridays now. <clears throat> I guess until we get to around Christmas time, and that'll change all over again. 
Oh, but it gives me something to do every day. So I'm not complaining. Rock and roll time. Time for some rock and roll bass. Yeah, let's go. Well, something occurred to me, and uh, it was a show I used to watch, somebody I used to watch for whenever they came to Toronto um, was Lonnie Mack. And Lonnie Mack was an old blues guy who had a rock and roll hit called Kansas City, and it was back in the 50s, 60s, way back. And uh, happened to see him one time when he was touring with Ronnie Hawkins at the Inn on the Bay, I think it was. Yes, Inn on the Bay in Port, I don't know, something or other up in Bracebridge area, Muskoka. And, you know, here's this old guy in the back with this red flying V and he had a big cowboy hat and he's wearing overalls. And, uh, you know, I didn't know who this guy was. Surrounded by kids. Everybody else in the band was little kids, I think. Uh, except, for, well, yeah, even the kids, you know, looking back, they were probably all kids. John Lewis was on guitar. Kenny King was on bass. That's where I met him. Uh, so this would have been 1981. Summer of 1981, if I recall. 
And uh, so we're sitting there. And great, we, we got to the club by boat, too. It was great. There was George Hines and me. And somebody had a boat. Anyway, we hopped on, going down this little river in Brace Bridge. It's the middle of the night, it seemed like. And uh, anyway, we get there, we get to the club, and the place is just jam-packed. Ronnie Hawkins, always always a jammed evening. So anyway, we get in, and the band was just, as always, smoking hot, playing all the great hits, uh, Bo Diddley and all that kind of stuff. But then... He says, uh, are we going to feature Lonnie Mac now? And Lonnie Mac stepped to the front of the stage and didn't even say a word, anything, just launches into this uh, Satisfy Susie. Holy cow, what a great song. Anyway, I'm going to just go knock me over. This old guy with beard and overalls looked like he just cl- uh, climbed off his tractor. And he gets off and he's playing these smoking leads. At um, 1958, I think, a red um, Flying V. And I remember it's legendary because the uh, serial number is 0007 or something like that. I think it's a 7. Uh, anyway, so if, when a few years go by, I'm living in Toronto and see on the... Um, news or you know some show that uh, Lonnie Mac is coming to town and just playing a little dump you know some little dive in Toronto I think uh, the Albert Albert's Hall or Albert Hall or what do they call it yeah, Albert's Hall I don't know it was that place on uh, wherever it is Davenport and I forget and upstairs I believe the big big room and uh uh, no, it was the downstairs room. That's why. And he got to talk to him and everything. And he played all his hits and everything. So I raced out and bought his album. He had an album. And, uh, boy, I wore that thing out. And I have no idea why I'm telling you this story. But it, um, he uh, he passed away recently. Uh, and uh, I think the world should see more of him, too. Lonnie Mack. I won't play any because, of course, I'll get flagged by the YouTube police. But uh, he was very influential in, in my... I always... Gee, he was... Satisfy Susie. I used to play that in my live shows all the time. It was a great uh, Let's Blow Off Some Steam song. So... Uh, just like maybe this one is? I don't know. I forget. Let's see. I'm the one you read about in magazines I surf for love or whatever I need A surfing fool I've been called once or twice But my computer's my own device I got my friends, I've got a wife But I need more in my side Steam up the chat room, let's have some fun Link up and download, I need some cyber love I need some cyber love I got an office right here in my house My only pet is my cyber It's a bar scene, it's simple and clean And you never have to buy a drink Experience things you've only dreamed of Link up and download, I need some cyber love I need some cyber love
Gotta keep that uh, thing going. There. Hear how muted that is, though. Holy. Holy cow. Yeah, that one's still a little bit. Still a little bit. Needs more out of there, I think. Grind her down, buddy. Just grind her down. There. That's better. We're opening the void channel there so we can get a little bit more of action here. Uh, my look at the future, looking back at the future. Yeah. Marching in the streets, people wearing sheets. We've seen this all.
So I was reminded as uh, it's Lori and Bob's birthday this week, uh, I was reminded of a story from Kappa Skasing in December of 1980. And we were playing the, ca- the commercial hotel, and uh, there was um, Rudy, Terry, Lori, Bob, and me. And it was Lori and Bob's birthday this week. Bob's is on the, I don't know, 7th or something, and uh, I think Lori's is the 9th. So anyway, we uh, decided, we conspired, and we thought that we were going to throw them a little party, and we are going to get a cake. So Rudy decided he knew was a gal over at the bakery, so he was in charge of getting the cake. And uh, Terry and I were in charge of going down to the uh, um, pool, pool hall to get everything else that we were going to need for our little party, so... And, uh, you know, liquor store and where else, wherever we all had to go. So, we, anyway, we bump into this guy at the pool hall. And, hey, no problem, no, no, anything you need, no problem. Well, I'll have you all fixed up. And we figured this guy's just talking, you know, I'll talk. Most, most of them were. And he says, and so anyway, he goes, I know what you need. He goes away, comes back, he says, it's all looked after. Everything you need, and uh, we're, I, I would be uh, delighted that uh, we're going to host your friend's birthday party at our house. Total stranger. All right, so you're going to come to my house, and we're going to throw you a little party. Holy cow. So, I mean, we did have a little bit of cred. Uh, we, we were the local band in town. Anyway, so we, um, okay, fine. So we ended up. Showing up at this guy's place, we stopped by the bakery to get Rudy's cake that he'd set up. And uh, so there was Lori and, and his, this Harold, this guy's name was Harold. And his uh, lovely uh, gal, a girlfriend, Lise was her name. And wonderful lady who, very French, but was really intelligent. And we're all trying to figure out what is she doing with this guy? He's this big, goofy, big-talking, kind of annoying guy. I mean, he was generous in everything. He was, you know, gregarious kind of guy, but he just talked so much. Oh, I got a big government job, and money's no object, and I'll look after you, and all this kind of stuff. And he just was kind of, yeah, just something about him. But she was just, seemed smitten with him, anything that he wanted. You know, she would just hop and go get it. And he was, you know, hey, the boys need more beer. Get more beer, you know, and yeah. The guys need more roast chicken. Go ahead, more roast chicken. You know, just, eh, just kind of a creepy guy. But uh, anyway, uh, she was just the most wonderful thing. And so it was time to present the, the cake. And uh, so we presented to Leo, open it up, and and Rudy's cake. Instead of saying "Happy Birthday, uh, Bob and Lori," it said "Happy Birthday, Tom and Larry." And instead of having a drummer and a guitar player, it had like George and Paul, uh, the Beatles. <laughs> you know, the left-handed bass player, had, like the little plastic figures on it. And it was like, what, you know? And we were laughing at it. It was ridiculous. And uh, But the Harold's girlfriend, Elise, didn't get the joke. So she went off to the kitchen and busily started working away. And next thing you know, she comes out of the kitchen and very proudly presents this plate to... Bob and and Lori says, in uh, cold cuts, and it, she'd gone in and cut up all of these radishes, and they all spell out, happy birthday, Tom and Larry. <laughs> so anyway, that's, uh, that was 40 years ago this week. So I always thought that that was a rather funny, uh, a humorous thing. Let me see if I even have, um, maybe I should probably look into that. Let's see if we've got that. I'll play something about that. Mm. There. Wow. All right. I'll come back to that. Because I think I know... um, uh, Let's see. Oh. Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay. So, um, let's do... Yeah. 
Let's let's do a, a, a Lori McKinnon song. This is always fun. I love this song. Sorry about that. Can't play that one. That's completely out of tune. Uh, I know what happened, but uh, we're going to do something different. Uh, true love, true love. Uh, okay, well, I thought I had it here somewhere. Baby, all right, we're gonna do this one. Yeah, we'll do this one. Three, uh, yeah, oh boy. Nah, I'll just listen. That was recorded at the Ojibwe Cree Culture Center in downtown Timmins, 1979. I believe Den uh, around J December 1979, because it was the winter time. It was pretty cold. Okay, let's go back to where we were, and we're getting close to the end. I think uh, we're getting close to a few more tunes. Here's a, a, a friendly tune. Thank you. 
There, well, wasn't that fun, too? That was another one. That's, um, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, where do I, yeah, sure. Here's what, uh, send this one out to those friends who are no longer with us and we're sort of missing right now. The list goes longer every day. This is called Be Free. If in the rough Your words were gentle Your voice was gruff You had a wisdom Uncommon and true That life was contagious Could fold me in two time it stopped hey wonderful well i guess that brings us to about the end of the show uh, boy i'm glad you could spend some time here just hanging out and shooting the breeze for a little while and um hopefully we'll see you real soon in in for real land 
And uh, But until then, look after yourself, look after each other, and uh, thinking of you. And asking that musical question. so much look after yourself hope you're feeling really good we'll see you soon uh boy that's it for now take care see you soon bye